hello so what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to see whether the source code that has been uploaded to github about uh, uh, as uh, arogya setu's android source code is uh, corresponding to the uh, source code on as to the apk that has that is available on play store and the way we're going to do it is uh, we're going to build the app ourselves so as you can see i've uh, downloaded uh, from an ic delhi arogya setu android repository and i'll just uh, demonstrate that this is uh, already up to date and there are no uh, changes now i'll open this in android studio i've already opened it in android studio uh, so if you're doing this for the first time uh, you have to follow the readme and uh, there are a certain settings that you have to make in a file called keystore properties um, so most of this you can leave um, as the same value from the readme um, the things that you absolutely will need are uh, uh this the signing key store details the reason why we need this is because um we are going to make a release build and not a debug build so that when we compare with play store there are as little differences as we can so you can see that i've already created a key store um uh you can do the same by going to build generate sign bundle apk apk and then um, choose uh, instead of uh, i mean you could choose create new it's already selected here create new and set the password and username and all that and then just cancel it instead of uh, going forward with the build so once uh, that's there uh, you can enter the path to that and the password and uh, um, the key name and the key password then um, uh, we can build it um, so i'm going to execute a gradle task assemble release so while it is uh, building uh, we'll see how we are gonna do the diff between uh, the file so uh, there's this tool called uh, apk diff on uh, Daniel Lockyer's uh, GitHub, which you which I pulled. Uh, so it's a Python script which uh, uh, runs diff on two APKs. So uh, we have to pass a path to where it should save the files, uh, uh, the output uh, it generates, and then uh, hyphen M stands for open the diff in meld which is a diffuser utility on linux and then uh, so i have downloaded the apk from apkpure.com um, you could do it from your phone as well you could pull the apk from your phone using adb um, and uh, this is the build path of the uh, build which instantly just got completed so we can see that there were some warnings but uh, it got completed now i'm gonna run the diff what it does is it's decompiling the apk into classes inside it um, and opening the diff so this is meld it's uh, opened the diff uh, i've actually asked it to hide the files that are same and i've actually set a setting uh, the default uh, filters doesn't uh, i mean diffs all the files because the line endings are different so i've made a uh, filter that ignores line ending so that the windows line ending from the play store version doesn't collide with the linux line endings that we have made 
So, with that we can see uh, uh, 42 files are different. Uh, these are not actually really different, uh, these are small differences like build ID. So, this, this thing you can noti notice, this, this left side is from Play Store, uh, which was on May 29th. <coughs> the version codes are same. Um, and uh, the certificates will obviously be different. We won't even look into it. So this uh, values, um, you can see that there is one um, string called Google storage bucket, which is not present on the right side. And uh, that actually changes the ID of each subsequent variable by one which uh, which actually makes the entire diff uh, extraneous uh, so again google storage bucket covid 196c396.appspot.com this is not present in the uh, build that we generated from the github uh, so what happens now is that each constant each variable in each file after that one uh, changes by one and therefore there will be so many of these changes that you see uh, that are uh, different from the original uh, so what we are going to do is uh, instead of uh, going through each of these small tiny changes we will just uh, set that uh, google storage bucket ourselves and uh, see how that goes uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to open strings.xml and uh, add a string by the name google storage bucket mm, and we can name it anything we want uh, now let's build this again uh, this time the build should be faster so once we add this, we'll we'll have lesser of those um, off by one differences, which is useful for. Actually finding the diffs that are important. So you can see the previous output. There are tiny, tiny changes. OK, so uh, it has built. Now we will run this again. Uh, 42 files for different last name okay now there are only 19 files which are different which is better uh, so this would be different certs would be different strings uh, uh, we have not many differences now so these um, values uh, that are different uh, are so because these are coming from the settings that we were supposed to make so for example um, we have set up a firebase file which i actually forgot to mention uh, if you follow the readme there is a there is firebase google services dot json file that is required to be configured what i've done is uh, i've put in app src google services dot json uh, mock which uh, one can get by just googling for mock google services dot json i'll just show you where i got it from mock google services dot json is going to give you uh, 
um, so the firebase repository itself has uh, mock google services.json just do a search there it is uh, so this is what i have copied into uh, the google services file uh, in release uh, the only thing you have to do is to make sure that the client id and the package name uh, is the same otherwise it won't compile at all so with that uh, and so these details of uh, client id um, web view id many of these things come into our diff uh, here so web client id so those diffs are actually okay so firebase database url so this is this is the url of firebase GCM send ID API key these are all things that uh, um, are set from uh, that firebase file uh, project ID so this is, this these are changes we don't have to worry about now you can see uh, again some changes the, the this web dot dot in was set in key store properties uh, this I had set manually so if we had set it to web dot swareksha instead of uh, this, this it would have been uh, uh, the same as the place to version overall this is looking good in that there's only one change which we had to make so these are again uh, from the these are all from the configuration so if we have the configuration correctly set which is of course uh, a matter of knowing where the api endpoints are and those kind of things we will have a reproducible build almost a reproducible build so you can use alt and down arrow to navigate these files um, so again as you can see uh, there are only constant uh, variables that are changing in everywhere there are no files or functionality that is different uh, i'm gonna go through all the diffs so that uh, we don't miss anything here there is some difference in uh, what is happening there is a tiny bit of uh, difference in the way some code is invoked uh, they are directly calling fp.swarekshare.gov.in which is thereby not reading the uh, configuration so this is something they probably introduced newly um, fp.swareksha.gov.in so and they've hard coded that into the code constant string again um, the variables have changed here because of that particular new variable mm. Okay, here we can see we can see that this is from my configuration. You can see that uh, it's repeating HTTPS, but this is not from my configuration. So this is again hard coded. Okay, that's the end of this file. Uh, Bluetooth scanning service, it's just a UID that's different. Home activity, again, URLs. Uh, 
they've again changed uh, this slightly or uh, configured url is not being invoked instead let's see what they're invoking okay they are uh, invoking a static terms and conditions url Um, what's happening here? Privacy. Privacy. Something. Okay, that's it. Splash activity. Only there's no difference. So those are the only differences between um, the Play Store version on the left and the generated version from the source code on the right these are differences nevertheless and uh, uh, till today uh, the version there the, the have been many commits which have uh, come only today um, you can see that june 1 there have been many commits uh, and uh, especially this merge commit from arugi sedu's master so this this private repository is where the original source code is and uh, that is uh, mer being merged to the public repository uh, in a semi frequent basis um, which is what uh, we can learn from this exercise okay so i'll be uh, putting an accompanying blog post for links to these uh, resources which you can find in the corresponding in the description bye bye